Andy Mogul. This holiday season, Disney will introduce its 10th Disney princess, Rapunzel. Disney's immensely popular princess franchise and tradition started back in 1937 when Walt Disney introduced the very first Disney princess, Snow White. And still today, if you ask any woman, young or old, she'll have a favorite Disney princess. And to celebrate the newest edition, here's a top 10 list of Mickey's royal friends. Plus, while you watch, be sure to share your own thoughts and top 10 lists in the comments below. Let the countdown begin! Meet the wild card of the bunch. Not only because we have yet to officially meet her, but because John Lasseter promises that Rapunzel is the most proactive princess yet. While the original fairy tale character waited patiently in a tower for her prince, this version convinces a charming thief to accompany her on a road trip adventure. And all that hair? Not just for brushing, as she can use it as both a tool and a weapon. On top of all that, Rapunzel is Disney's first computer animated princess, taking this classic genre into the hottest form of animation to date. After the movie is released, who knows where she'll fall on this list? If you've seen Tangled, where do you think Rapunzel deserves to be in BTT's Top 10? While Princess Aurora is certainly one of Disney's most iconic princesses, she appears for less than 18 minutes in the actual film. However, this Disney princess was ahead of her time. Sleeping Beauty was the first animated film to be made in Technorama widescreen and featured the first fully developed Disney prince, the dashing Prince Philip. It also struck a blow for feminism as the three fairies proved not all women can cook, sew, and clean. Furthermore, it broke from the traditional classic look of Disney's previous animated films. Yes, artist Ivan Earl gave the movie a distinct look, which makes it a favorite of animation buffs and art lovers. But unfortunately, Sleeping Beauty's initial box office disappointment put the Disney Princess franchise into a deep sleep, not to be awakened until 1989's The Little Mermaid. This Native American princess is one of the few Disney princesses to actively look out for her people's best interests, showing that with great outfits come great responsibility. Pocahontas is also the first Disney character to be based on a real person, and thus she is also the first Disney princess to be denied a happy ending. In fact, in her directed DVD sequel, she marries John Rolfe rather than John Smith, just as she did in real life. Also, Pocahontas' strong environmental message inspired many, including one very famous director. Yes, James Cameron has admitted that he got the idea for Avatar, the most successful film of all time, after watching Disney's Pocahontas. And to think the Smurfs try to claim all the glory. The movie might have been called Aladdin, but Princess Jasmine was very much his partner in crime. In fact, Jasmine was the first of Disney's girl power princesses, longing for adventure rather than a Prince Charming. The proof? She wears pants! She is also the first non-Caucasian Disney princess, adding some much-needed diversity to Disney's royal court. And with their animated sequels and series, Aladdin and Jasmine became the Nick and Nora of Agrabah. Yes, Jasmine and her man have had the most adventures of any Disney princess. Oh yeah! And Jasmine holds one other record. She is the only Disney princess to actually kiss a villain. The one that started it all. Walt Disney literally bet his own house that audiences would fall in love with this animated princess, and they most certainly did. Released to general audiences in 1938, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs was the highest grossing movie of the year. And to think, the whole thing was started because Snow White was the Magic Mirror's type and the equally good looking queen wasn't. The queen should have taken a pole first, it would have saved her a trip off the deep end. Interestingly, Snow White is the Disney princess most indicative of the era she was born, mimicking 1930s silver screen stars like Claudette Colbert and Marlena Dietrich. She is also the only Disney princess to have a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Snow White isn't just Disney royalty, she's also Hollywood royalty. In 2009, Disney finally introduced an African-American princess. 
It was such a big deal that everyone from Jennifer Hudson to Alicia Keys to Tyra Banks vied to voice the character, with the honor eventually going to Broadway star Anika Noni Rose. Tiana is the most modern of the Disney princesses, not just because her story takes place in the 1920s, but because she's the very first Disney princess to actually have a job. Working two waitressing jobs to earn enough money to start her own restaurant, Tiana only gets into trouble when she tries to take the easy way out. And Tiana's happy ending isn't just a wedding, but the success of her very own business as well. Yeah, Tiana's message of hard work might not be as appealing as Cinderella's magical overnight transformation, but in the real world, we should all be so lucky. Disney's very own warrior princess. And thankfully, she isn't a sassy warrior, because we all know that sassy is code for female jerk. No Mulan is noble. When her injured father is drafted back into the army, she poses as his son to take his place and save his life. And once she gets into the army, instead of showing the men how it's done, she realistically has trouble competing with all that testosterone. But she proves that the brain is a muscle anyone can flex, single-handedly saving China with her cunning and quick thinking. Mulan honors her people, her family, and all the women out there who have the strength to do what is right, no matter the risk to themselves. <laughs> to this day, when a redhead is anywhere near water, people see Ariel. And to think she was originally going to be a blonde. This mermaid was an instant mega hit, reinvigorating Disney feature animation and ushering in the era that became known as the Disney Animation Renaissance. And thanks to Howard Ashman and Alan Menken, she also has the most memorable songs of any Disney princess. In fact, Ariel was the first Disney princess to get the Broadway treatment, where her songs were major production numbers and highlights of the film. There was some controversy over Ariel's singular, unrelenting pursuit of her prince, criticism that led to more fully developed princesses going forward. But today's women have many paths they can take, and Ariel, the only Disney princess to have a child, proves that to many, a family is the happiest ending of them all. Meet Disney's feminist princess. Belle likes to read, speak her mind, and has no interest in marrying town haughty and male chauvinist Gaston. And it would take such a woman to fall in love with a beast. Instead of a dashing hero, Belle meets not so cute with an argumentative and spoiled prince who's been cursed. But part of the appeal of their relationship is that so many of us can relate to their bickering. And it's the emotional depth of their love story that made Beauty and the Beast the first animated film to be nominated for a Best Picture Oscar. Screenwriter Linda Wolverton would later go on to give life to another intelligent female Disney heroine, Alice in Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland. It is also worth noting that Howard Ashman, legendary lyricist and story developer, only fully worked on two Disney films before he tragically passed away at age 40, and his princesses are numbers 2 and 3 on this list. Warrior, feminist, environmentalist, none of them can beat Cinderella. She is synonymous with the word princess. Cinderella is cited as the most popular Disney princess more than any other, and her castle is the most well-known icon of vacation hotspot Walt Disney World, and arguably the entire company itself. She was only the second princess to grace the silver screen 13 years after Snow White, and was the studio's biggest hit since Snow White. Disney legend Mary Blair's concept art shaped the film, and the song Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo sticks in your head just like the anthem of another Mary Blair project, It's a Small World. Cinderella is surprisingly spunky for a 1950s heroine, an image that was cultivated even more so by her direct-to-DVD adventures, especially Cinderella 3, A Twist in Time. Yes, everyone loves Cinderella. And that's BTT's top 10 list of Disney princesses. I hope you've shared with us your own favorite Disney princesses in the comments below, and be sure to come back on November 24th to find out what audiences think of the newest Disney princess, Rapunzel. Thanks for watching.